Hi, and welcome to C Programming. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to use escape sequences. So in the previous, previous example, we already started using escape sequences, like the new line escape sequence. And today, I'm just going to illustrate a few more of the common escape sequences that can be found in C Programming. So I'm going to quickly create a new empty file and save it as escape sequences. Dot C. Remember the dot C for um, the extension dot C for the computer to recognize a C file and to know that a C file or C program is expected. So we're going to save it and we're going to start program. So I'm just going to include the basics again standard input and output library. I'm going to say in main, our main function, return zero for the computer to know that the program ended successfully. So we have already learned that we can use printf to go and display some text. Let's say hello. So we can save this and we can quickly run and just to verify that the output is hello. So my terminal opened, and if you're using Windows, it will be command prompt. So hello is displayed. You can see it's highlighted there. So in the previous example, we used backslash n to create a new line. But let's say, for instance, what will happen if we say print if uh, world? So, hello world, what will happen then? Let's quickly go and verify. So, we're printing out hello and then world. So, what in actual fact is happening here is we are printing out hello and then the cursor is stuck just after the O of hello and it's not going to move. And then we tell the, um, the C program to output world. And it will start outputting exactly where the cursor is at that given moment and then that specific place is after the o of hello so if we want to have a new line we can't just use a different print if we need to actually use the escape sequence new line so if we do new lines what will happen is we will see hello new line world new line and the end of the program so other escape sequences that we can use so is forward slash or backslash t sorry box backslash t and backslash t is used to actually create tab spaces so not just a new line now we can actually also have tab spaces so let's run this with a tab space and you will see there is a nice little tab space between hello and wall. This is quite nice if you want to space columns, for instance, in your program output. And we put by there. And then you'll see everything is hello world by and let's say the next row in our output print if one and i'm just going to copy and paste this two two and three okay so we're going to run this and see what happens one two and three is there and what we're going to do is we're going to add tab spaces for them as well to actually create that column and row feel so if we run it by using tab spaces you can see we can space everything quite nicely in our command prompt or terminal to actually just make the user experience much better After tab spaces, what we also have is 
the escape sequence to actually go and display a backslash. Okay, so a backslash is just text, but unfortunately, because we are using the backslash to indicate a tab space or a new line, how would we go and display a tab space? So if we just put a tab space there, you will see that this part becomes blue. And we don't like that. Everything in the text, just the text that we want to display, the double inverted commas and the text needs to be blue. The rest of the things like the bracket and the semicolon needs to be red. So if we put the backslash there, you see it becomes part of the text. And that's a bit of a problem. So if we would run this, we would get a lot of errors. So at the bottom, at logs and others, you will see a few errors. So how will, would we display a backslash? And it's quite easy. We just use the backslash to indicate that we're going to use a backslash. So it's a double backslash to go and display a double back or one single backslash. So let's put a new line there so that we can see if we have outputted a backslash successfully. And there you have it. Hello, and then one backslash. Then the same reasoning go for the double inverted commas. Because we're using the double inverted commas to encapsulate the text that we actually want to go and display, we need to have a way to dis display a double inverted commas. And that's also being used with the backslash. So we say backslash double inverted commas, backslash double inverted commas, and let's just put a new line there so that everything is nicely formatted when we output. And you will see how hello is in double inverted commas. Thank you for watching. That's all from me for escape sequences. Hope to see you soon.